Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I have a different kind of haul to share with you guys. I don't typically get a whole lot of PR items, but when I do, I'd like to share them with you guys. If that's okay with you guys, just let me know if you don't like these type of videos. So I have three different companies to share with you guys today. First one is Sigma. So we're going to start with that one. I already opened it. I was pretty savage and like kind of tore into it and decided to just figure out what's all in here. I haven't played with anything in here yet, so I don't know how everything is yet. But I can tell you I really do like Sigma's brushes. I think their brushes are really, really nice. I am now a Sigma affiliate. So if you guys are interested in getting a discount, I will have a discount code below for you guys to use. So I'll show you guys everything that came in my PR box right here. So... In the box on the first thing here is, of course, they send you with the information about being a Sigma affiliate, but then they also send you some information about all the brushes that they have. Let me put the box down, it might be helpful. So they have a little pamphlet here that tells you all the different types of brushes as well as makeup items that they have. So on the inside here, they tell you every different kind of brush. I didn't realize they had this many brushes. I'm like, holy smokes, that's a lot. I already own a lot of Sigma products to be honest with you guys because I really do like the brand. So it's not like I'm like jumping into a brand to be a, an, an affiliate with them to just be like, oh, I just want to be an affiliate. No, I really do like Sigma's brushes. I like their cleaners. They're like little cleaner that you use in the sink. I have, I'll show you which one I have. I should have brought it in with me today actually. I have this one right here, the one that fits into your sink. I really love this thing because it really does help me clean my brushes nice and easy. I have quite a few brushes of theirs. I have some makeup of theirs. So now I have some more goodies to share with you guys from them themselves from Sigma. So the first thing in here is the solid makeup brush cleanser. This is the Sigmatic. This is the Sigmatic Sigma Scrub. It says it's patent pending. It's a two-in-one deep cleanser. So it cleans makeup brushes. Uh... This one's really interesting. I've never seen one like this before. So the way that this one works is it suctions to the side of your sink or whatever. So there's the little suction cups. And then I think the soap, I'm not even sure. Let me see if I can figure this out. We'll figure it out together here. So the soap is built into it. So what do you do with this thing? How do you use this thing? Oh, okay. Okay. I see. I see. So this is just the top for it. So it's going to keep it so that it breathes easy. And then this is the soap in here. So it's got the soap along with some little scrubbies in here. The soap smells nice and clean. So I really like that. And then this is just the information, I guess, on how to use it. So the two in one. So it says secure suction cups to your sink, swirl wet brush onto the texture to lather, rinse well with warm water, repeat as necessary as needed. For best results, dry brushes using Sigma Dry and Shape Tower. So that's really cool. I'm excited to use this. This is really interesting to try out. This will be something good to travel with as well. I don't know if they have prices in here. No, they don't. So I will have prices listed for you guys below as well as the items for you guys if you're interested in picking up any of these things. I really am excited about trying that. That's really cool. That is very interesting. The next thing is the Sigma. They have this wrapped in bubble wrap. This is the Sigma Aurora, Aurora powder. So I don't think I've ever tried their powders. I've tried a lot of their eyeshadows. I've tried, I think basically eyeshadows is mostly what I've tried. I love their packaging, how it has a holographic detail to it. I think that's really cool. This is the Cora de Rosa Aurora, Aurora powder. I have my like a tongue twister so this is a blush I love the color of this this is gorgeous it's like a almost like a nudie peachy pink I don't know it's really pretty I love it it's so perfect for just like that little bit of flush to the cheek so I'm excited about trying this out it's very silky smooth I'll swatch it for you guys oh that's a really pretty color so there's what it looks like swatched so I can do a whole get ready with me if you'd like for me to to using all Sigma products because I don't think I have a foundation. I'm not even sure they have a foundation, to be honest with you. So we'll have to check into that. The next thing I have in here is <clears throat> wrapped in bubble wrap as well. You guys know I love my bubble wrap. This is the Sigma Warm Neutrals Volume 2. I have the Warm Neutrals Volume 1 palette. So this one is the Volume 2. So here's what the packaging looks like. It looks very similar to the first one that they had, that they came out with. And then the inside looks like this. Now the colors are quite different. I've noticed from what their first one came out, that they came out with looks like. There are some different colors in here, like this one here. This is Fool's Gold. I'm excited to see how that one swatches. Let's see what it swatches like. Oh yeah, that's pretty. It's like a green and gold and black. I don't know, that's a very interesting color. So I don't know, that one's really cool. I'm excited about trying these out though. If you want to see a, an eye look, like I said, or a whole get ready with me, just let me know because I can totally do that. 
Next thing in here is some brushes. So we have some brushes. I have the E35, which is a tapered blending brush. So here's what it looks like. I'm excited about this because I already own quite a few Sigma brushes. I have a lot of their face brushes. I actually purchased a whole set of them that came in like a case and everything. So let me see if we can open this up, figure out how to open it pretty quickly. If not, then I'll pause you guys and open these and that way there it doesn't take too much time. Oh, no, it's not that hard to open actually. Okay, Let's see if I can get it out of here. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's like they have it secure. Oh my gosh, the handles feel different than the ones I have. These feel a lot more smooth and just like, I don't know, they feel very sleek. The brush itself is very soft. It's not like a Morphe brush because Morphe brushes, I've noticed a lot of mine are like pretty rough to my like eye texture. Like when I'm putting them on my eyes, they're pretty rough. This is super duper soft. So this one again is the E35. So here's what it looks like. It's a blending brush. All right, I'm excited about that. Then we have a face brush. This one here is the 3D HD Kabuki brush. I'm not really good with using a face brush with like putting on foundation. So this is going to be interesting to try out because I always fail at it. I always get streaks and everything all over my face. You guys do the same thing. I feel like the beauty blender usually works really well for me and I feel like that does the best job for blending in. I've heard a lot of people say that they'll use a brush though and then they'll go in with a sponge to kind of blend everything out. Which kind of makes sense too. So... So here's what it looks like. So it's like a, it's like an angled brush. Do you see how it's like tapered almost? That's really cool looking. So there is the brush itself. Let me feel it. Oh, it's very, very soft. Very nice. Very nice. The handle, it feels very nice and weighted. So it's a really good, seems like a nice weighted material. So I'm excited about that one as well. The next one is the E52. This is the Soft Focus Shader Brush. Ooh. This one looks different. I don't think I have a brush like this at all. Let me see it. Oh my goodness, I should've got my little, let me see if I have them. Yeah, I do. My little cutters here. Cut the tape on the sides here. That might help me get it out a little bit easier. All right, yes. And then I just realized it has this little thing here at the top that says pull here. So you pull it and then it just slides right out. So it makes them nice and easy to come out actually. They're not hard to get out at all. It's just that I was struggling with the tape. Also, this is just like a flat brush. So there it is. I'm excited about that one as well. That one, I'm not sure how I would use it. Maybe like as packing, it would be a really good packing brush. So I'm excited about that one. Then we have the F55, which is the small duo fiber brush. I have really been loving the duo fiber brushes for, for blushes, especially because I seem to go pretty crazy with blushes sometimes. I feel like I go in like and then I look like a clown. I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta like blend that out. And with a duo fiber brush, I feel like it just blends it out effortlessly. So again, we can just pull it out here. So that one's really nice too. There is the duo fiber brush. Oh, very, very soft. And again, the ferrule to this is very nice. And this one's not super weighted. I think this one is a lot more weighted, but I mean, you gotta figure this one's a lot more chunkier. So it's gonna be a little bit more weighted. So they are very, very nice though. I'm excited about trying all of those out. Then I have the Sigma. This is the eyeshadow base primer. So I'm excited about this because I have not tried this at all. And I have the shade in Sorbet. So I'm not sure what all shades they have. We'll have to figure that out together. Because like I said, I don't really have a whole lot of makeup. I have like eyeshadows. I have brushes. I have the cleaners. So here is what the product itself looks like in the packaging. And then let's pull it open here. Okay, so this looks like it's going to be like a champagne color. Nope, it's pink. I was wrong. So there it is swatched right here. So it's like a pinky shade for your lid base. So I'm excited about trying that one out as well. It looks like a lipstick. That would be a pretty lipstick actually. I don't know. I would probably use it. No, don't do that. Probably not a good idea. The next thing is the Longwear Eyeliner Pencil. And this is in the shade Wicked. So I'm thinking it might be just a black eyeliner, which I like black eyeliners because I think they work the best for me. I like color eyeliners like in the waterline because I think it looks really pretty. So here is the Sigma Longwear Eyeliner Pencil. Let's see, does it twist up? Yep, it's a twist up type, which is really nice. Oh, very, very soft, very soft. So there it is, a nice black line here. So we'll see how that wears. I'll leave it set while we're doing the rest of the unboxing today and then see if it's kind of like a, see if it smudges out or anything. We'll try that out. Then we have the Sigma, the Sin, 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 uh, I have no idea what that says. Sensuosity. <laughs> I have no idea what that says. Maybe you guys will be able to tell me better because I am terrible about pronouncing things. So, Sensuosity Last, Sensuity Last, I have no idea. This is in the shade Black, so it's a black mascara. 
So here's what it looks like. The tubing is just very plain and simple. It reminds me a little bit of like the, oh my gosh, I have another one like this. Who is it by? Maybe Buxom maybe? I'm not sure. So since, sorry, I need to figure out how to say that word. And let's see what the wand looks like. Oof. Oh, that's a nice wand. It's got a curve to it. It's almost like, I don't know, like a banana like. So you guys know how much I like bananas. And it doesn't smell like anything, which is cool too. The one that I've been using lately that I've been really liking is the Pat McGrath Labs. That one smells so good. It smells like flowers. I love it. And then the last thing in here, let me double check to make sure I don't miss anything. The last thing in here is the Lip Eclipse. This is in the shade Sigma Pink. So I'm not super like loving bright bright pinks but we'll have to see how this looks on me so it's like a barbie pink it reminds me of jeffree star for some reason i don't know why but this color is like a jeffree star color so that is this i wonder if i should try it on for you guys go with my bright like rainbow bright looking eyeballs today <laughs> let's see oh it's actually nice i like the way it feels So there is the color on. It's actually really pretty. I think it actually kind of looks good with the eyes too. So I would wear it. This looks like a nice summer color. So I'm excited about trying all my new Sigma things out. And like I said, I am an affiliate with the uh, company now. So if you guys are interested in getting a discount, I will have a discount code below for you guys. I don't think, I'm not sure how it works to be honest with you. I'm new to this whole thing because you guys know I'm not a huge YouTuber. So I'm not into figuring out how all this stuff works. I just know that I am an affiliate with them now, which makes me really happy. The next thing I've got is a PR package is from Flower and Bee. This packaging came in so beautifully. I sent, I put a picture on Instagram how they sent it and it was so gorgeous. So they sent a sweet little card with it and it actually has my name and everything on it. But I love the little bee they have on here. Look at that little wooden bee. That is so darn cute. So this is a cruelty free, no toxin and they donate 1% to charity. So it's a skincare brand that is like natural. So the first thing they sent in this box here is the Eyes Eyes Baby. This is the anti-aging ice, not ice cream, eye cream. So here's what it looks like. It's a pretty big eye cream container, honestly. This is 0.6 ounces. And you don't need that much of eye cream, as you guys know. You just need a little bit. So here's what it looks like. I've only tried this out one time, and that was actually today. So I haven't tried it out a whole lot, but I will be testing it out for at least a month. And then I'll come back on and let you guys know how all the products work for me and whether or not I'd recommend, which ones I'd recommend out of the ones they sent to me. If maybe all of them or maybe none of them. I don't know. We'll let you guys know. The next thing is the Flower and Bee Nectar of the Sea Rejuvenating Vitamin C Serum. I love a good vitamin C serum. You guys know that. I like that the container is not see-through. I mean, it's not clear is what I mean. So it's got like a, what is that called? Like a... Mm, I can't think of what it's called, but either way, the glass is not completely see-through, so that way there it's going to help the product to stay, like, stabilized. This also tells you that you should probably put it in the refrigerator to help it keep longer, which is really cool. So it says natural ingredients, no nasty toxins, so that makes me happy to be using skincare ingredients that are actually really good for your skin. The next thing that they sent me is this right here. This is the Creme de la Creme Moisturizing Face Cream. It says, again, natural ingredients, so... And the container looks like this. I love their packaging. I think their packaging is really pretty. I love the bronze looking shade right here. And then the pink lids. I think the pink lids with the bronze is just beautiful together. So like I said, what I'll do is I'll try all these products out for a month. And then I'll come back on and give you guys like a final thoughts on them. On whether or not I feel like they were actually good and worth it and everything. This is a new company that just started up on the 4th of April. So very nice that I was able to try these products out so early on. So I am excited to see this company grow if everything is very good. So good luck to you guys. The last thing I want to share with you guys is from Case Up. So this is from Case Up Miami. This is really cool. This is actually going to be coming with me to Florida. So you will be going back to where you came from, you little case. So in the box here is what it looks like. This is what it comes in here. 
so it's just a makeup case so let me show you this case though i was very intrigued by this so i'm planning on taking this with me onto our trip i may end up taking it with us onto spring break as well i love the rose gold zipper on here and it says case up it's black it is a very sturdy though i mean i don't know if you can tell it or not but it's like an ipad case where it's nice and sturdy you don't feel like you're gonna break anything which makes me so just make sure i get pink lipstick all over my teeth here that would be wonderful so and then when you open this up it looks like this on the inside so it's got these little sections here so it's got a part right here where you can actually hang this up if you'd like to and then you can put all your makeup products inside of here so and from what i've seen in it this holds quite a bit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pack this with me i think i will take it with me on our spring break i'm going to pack it all up and see how much makeup it'll actually hold see if it'll hold my whole week's worth of makeup which is really impressive if it does because if it does then this will be coming with me to florida when we go on our cruise so it has all these different little compartments here some of them are mesh like this is a good brush compartment i'm pretty sure this is your brush compartment then you've got a compartment here and the zipper slides so easy i just noticed that oh my gosh like nice zipper and then let me take this plastic piece out here Ooh. so the plastic piece once it comes out you've got all this room in here to put more products and then down here we've got this area too that we can take that foam piece out as well so take the foam pieces out and then it's mesh and you'll be able to see all your products so I'm kind of hoping it will hold all my makeup for the week because this will be a nice compact way to take everything and I feel like it's going to be secure. I don't feel like anything is going to break in here. I always worry when we travel when I travel with makeup that I'm going to break something. I don't know if you guys are the same way or not but I always worry that I'm going to break something. So I'm excited about taking this with me on to our spring break. Let me know if you want to see me pack it up for spring break. I think I will go ahead and do that though. I think that's something I want to do is see how much will fit in here. See if I can, it expands quite a bit too so it expands a little bit here. So I'm excited about this. This is really cool. So that is everything I've gotten in PR lately. So I'd love to know if you guys are kind of liking these videos or not. If you'd like to see more of these once I get more PR, PR items. I don't get a whole lot like I said. But when I do get them I'd like to share them with you guys. And then maybe see what you're more interested in seeing more of. Let's see this black liner here too. Okay. It's smudging a little bit. Yeah it's smudging a little bit. So I don't know. We'll have to try that out. That lid, oh, no, that's, that's doing pretty, oh, I don't know, a little bit of it came off. We'll try them all out, though. So if you guys are interested in seeing a, like I said, a total get ready with me using a lot of Sigma products, let me know, because I can totally do that, because I'm excited about trying all of them out, especially the brushes. You guys know I love my brushes, and this palette looks very interesting, so like I said, I am excited, and let me know, again, if you're interested in seeing more of these. I'd like to know also what are some new products out that are on the market that you think that I should try out because I am interested in picking up a few things, especially during the Sephora VIB sale coming up. That's this month, guys. Are you ready for it? I don't think I'm going to get a whole lot. I'm just going to get some like bare necessities, but if you have something that you think I should pick up, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.